thing is, when you're trying to establish any aspect of your, your game, you've got to try and find the various ways that you can get to your reference point. And in this case, my reference point is for me, at some point, to be able to weave my hands through uh, his legs so I can control his, uh, his, his hips. Okay? So, a simple way of doing this entrance is to flatten him out in a, in a butterfly guard position, and then the classical way is for us to come up is, is to come up and cut across, get his knee on his midline and cut across and try and collapse his knees together. There's lots of other ways of doing this. I can do this from like a, 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 a knee slide and then I can, I, I can check off here, etc, etc. So there's lots of, oh, or in a, even in a half guard position, we can come here and collapse here. Okay, so we're going to come on to that uh, in a moment. Okay, guys, but first of all, I will do it from a basic uh, half guard position here. Okay, so he's coming here, he's got control of me here, and this is this is going to be a little bit difficult for me to just punch this leg through because he's got a strong grip here, guys. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to control the inside of his knee. I'm, Cupping this knee, controlling, and then I'm going to come in and grab the inside of his trouser here, and I'm going to collapse here to get his knee beyond his midline. Once this knee crosses here, then it's easy uh, for me to, to collapse these together. So here, he's given me a, 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 bit, a bit of a hard time. I'm ha having a hard time just smashing across this, so I need two hands one on the inside and then I'm going to drive this shoulder through and we pressure here. Okay, so the simple one guys, I'm going to control the bottom knee. There's various ways of doing this, the key is, is I don't want him to get up onto this elbow, okay, and on, onto his hand to unwind. So I want to corkscrew his spine. That might be coming from controlling the sleeve grip, generally I prefer to control the the collar and bring him in. Okay? If he leans his upper body back, okay, then he's got a the opportunity to pull that knee through and he can start giving me some trouble. I collapse the knees and I, I, I work for a grip of some kind, usually go for the collar, but sometimes it'll be the sleeve. Control the collar. I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna walk here. Okay? So usually he'll try and try and create an unwinding position because I'm putting him in a, in a weak sp spinal position. So I want to make sure that I prevent that by controlling this, pulling this in, and we're going to walk, walk, walk. I spike him with my head, okay? And then we, we pass, okay? Really, really simple, guys. Basic entrance into this leg wave. Control, collapse, I pull, and it's the bottom knee I need to prevent coming up, okay? I take my hips up, I walk, 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 spike him with my, my chest, and with my head into his chest, and now I'm going to pass. Okay, so let's try that guys, and if you want to play around with the entry from, from butterfly here to pass, or from the knee shield to do the same thing, control, control, coming up off your toes, and passing that. This, in this position is I'm trying to make his spine weak. Okay, so what's the strong position for your spine? It's a neutral position, right? Your, your, your ability, his ability to fight me is much more here than it is if I've managed to twist him up into a pretzel like this. Or his hips are much stronger here, but if I take the slack out with here and I take him into a full flexion, now his spine is in a pretty vulnerable position, okay? So generally, when we get to the end of range of our joints, we get weaker, okay? So the strong range is the, is the middle range, and I don't want him to be in that middle range, okay? So once I'm here, a couple of things. Sh this shoulder pressure is really important, okay? So I get this, this pressure here. This connection is also really important, so I'm really connecting him like so. And my hand is on the front of the knee. Don't, don't just grab the trouser here, because it, yeah. So I'm gonna block this bottom leg, and now, now I'm here like so, okay? And I'm driving with my head on, on the far side of his, uh, far side of his midline, okay? So I'm here.
So I'm trying to do this with his, uh, with, his, uh, with, his, uh, with his knees going one way and his head going the other. If, if I let him lean back, he can now weave this leg out and then either pull it all the way out or start giving me problems here which I need to start to change my, my attack, okay? Often in this position, again, a double-handed attack sometimes can work where I can just collapse back down with two hands and then drive it back down again and went back to my reference point, okay? So, one of the things that happens is your foot can get caught here, okay? Even if, I, if his ankles aren't locked, my foot is caught here, which can be a bit of a problem and it can give me, give me a bit of trouble. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna drive over and I'm gonna windscreen wipe on my foot across him like so, okay? We go one and two, okay? If you can start getting this, and even if you just hook a little bit on my ankle, on my ankle with the butt, yeah. Even if he's doing that, I, could, I should be able to un, un, unlock it just by weaving this through. Little detail number one, okay? Other detail is that if he's very strong and he's getting up, half getting up on his side, yeah, I've got a problem here. So I'm gonna go from a little bit lower up to higher up on his collar, and as I drive, I'm gonna open out my elbow. So he's gonna try, yeah, try and come into me, and I'm just gonna open out my elbow here. So again, his knees going one way, and his hips going the other, and then I pass, okay? So just creating a bit of discomfort for him. Let's try it. I'm hooking that with the windscreen wiper, and if he's, if, he's, if he's getting a good shape here, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open out my elbow and walk towards his feet, and then I clear, okay? And the final thing is I want you to be able to control him with your head on his ribcage there. Everyone see what's going on with his spine there, okay? Let's go, three, two.